Hi, this is Charlie Montatiello with a quick little video about Native American flute playing. I wanted to give you guys some techniques that might help you out um, if you get to where you're really tired of playing the same old song over and over again. Maybe the best thing to do would be learn how to play it a different way. So uh, anyway, uh, as part of our series on flute playing, I have made other videos that give you some great and detailed techniques, ones that I've used, ones that other flute players use. But what I'd like to tell you right now are some of the, the main uh, surprise bag, I guess I could call it, of uh, flute techniques and flute tools. So one of them that I've had a lot of friends ask me about how to perform and how to make sound good is the vibrato. Vibrato is something that you can do in a number of different ways. With this particular instrument, it's easiest to do it by going... You're controlling the speed of the air that's coming out of your mouth. You can control it with your diaphragm, with your lungs, with your mouth itself. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different types of techniques you can use to create the vibrato. Uh, but it's basically you're just going... You're making the air come out faster. So this is what it sounds like. It's really easy. Um, you can do that uh, once in a while. It's best not to play the whole, you know, every song with vibrato on every single note. Uh, there's a lot of ways, like I say, you can do it though. So that's one technique. Another one that's a really good technique that I like a lot is a bark. Now this one I've gone a little bit more in detail in other videos, flute playing videos that we've made. The bark is something I like to do with the middle finger. I play right-handed. Um, the middle finger on my left hand, which covers the second hole. Not the third hole that doesn't exist on my five-hole flutes. You guys can just keep that flute hole covered up. It's just fine. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, the second uh, fingering here, I like to bark it by lifting it at different intervals um, for different amounts of time. It's kind of like a grace note or a uh, the top note of a trill, the first note of a trill that you start to play on a regular transverse flute. But uh, I'll show you how that's done. It's just basically lifting this finger up and setting it down quickly um, at before and after, three different time frames, at, before, and after playing a note. So watch. So, um, basically, in changing each note, I may start you see my finger does that even when I just set it down. I guess it's a habit. But <laughs> I may start the note by letting it off, or I may uh, stop the note by letting it off. There's a lot of different ways to do that. And of course, as I said, you can even do it... Uh, ...while you're playing the note, at the time you, you begin the note. So there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of different ways to play that little bark sound. And then um, one of my other favorite techniques that I like to do that I hadn't been doing, I guess, as much as I used to because I don't play in the public as much as I used to, um, but um, I like to do a roll. A roll is something that when you're in front of people, it actually has a lot of uh, emotional style and feeling that you can get off of it. A roll is kind of like you're going over the hole and covering the hole up and then uncovering it. You can just do a partial roll you can where you just cover half of the hole up um, you can just cover the hole up or you can just use a roll as uncovering the hole this is how you would just uncover the hole uncover the fingering while you're using a roll and notice I added a little vibrato at the end you throw these things together and, and add some of your style um, to the way that you play and, and you can come up with a great amount of variations so uh, I'm going to show you the roll in a little bit greater detail So that's kind of neat. Um, like I say, the roll is something that you can do partial, and then sometimes I use this other technique, which is a swipe, but it's still a roll. So a 
lot of different ways that you can do the roll. And the vibrato, once again, is very simple, just basically controlling the air that is coming out of your mouth and going into the food. And of course, uh, the little bark sound that a lot of you are probably wondering how it is that you can make that flute bark. Well, there it is. Best to do in the bottom three holes. It's a little more tricky to do it on the top. You can do it on this hole if you bark this finger, but you know, for, for a lot of reasons, it's best just to focus on the bottom. Um, so we did that. We did the roll. We have some vibrato. Uh, a lot of techniques that you can, like I say, throw in your grab bag and flute plane and just uh, practice them one at a time, go up and down the scale doing one or the other, and uh, see what it sounds like. Mix them up like you see me doing just now. You can uh, do a bark and roll at the same time. I mean, there's a number of great things you can do. But anyway, uh, we'll have more videos on flute playing, of course. Hope you guys liked uh, the last video on how to play that one specific song we talked about. Uh, and we have some more songs coming up soon, one coming up on the drone, which will be great. And like always, these videos, a lot of them are inspired by the questions that you guys sent me. So thank you so much. I appreciate you watching our videos. If you have any questions, please make sure you check out our website. may answer some of your questions. Our Facebook may answer some of the others. That's Blue Bear Arts on Facebook. And our website, bluebearflutes.com. But uh, you can send me a message on either and ask us how we're doing, and we'll be glad to help you out. So uh, y'all take care. Happy flute playing and happy flute making.